My twin and I enjoyed making this video. I hope you're entertained by it as I we explain why I will no longer have, be riding an ATV and have purchased a Razor Trail Ultimate. Marauders, welcome back to the channel. If you've seen my video, 66 Defender XMR playbook to buy in a side-by-side, -side, you'll I've owned many side-by-sides. Rangers, several Rangers, two Defenders. Now I have a Defender Limited, had a Defender XMR. Um, Polaris Razor XPs. I have two of those. One of them was a turbocharged unit, which was outstanding. Both were actually good units. A Razor S, a Maverick Sport. Uh, actually, it might have been called a Maverick X years ago. It was their first, Can-Am's first sport side-by-side. -side. So I'd have, I, I think I have a lot of experience in side-by-sides and ATVs. Purchasing, owning them, and maintaining them. So I went down the path of owning several Outlander ATVs, enjoyed them. Um, I did have a couple incidents with them. Uh, I went over the handlebars. Um, <laughs> I went over the handlebars, and God was with me that day. I ended up in a puddle of mud. And then... I, uh, I had one on an Allegheny National Forest, shifting it, took off on me, my arm hit the throttle while I was shifting it, landed up on its side, and uh, I felt, I had one other incident I couldn't remember, it, and I felt at that time, I, I need the protection, I want a roll cage around me. I want to have something, I enjoy trail riding, I want something 50 inches wide, and I want to be protected. And I want my wife, if she comes with me, I don't want her on an ATV, although she's taken a safety course. I don't want her on an ATV because I've watched her fly off an ATV on a trail ride. Uh, Honda, uh, I'm sorry, Yamaha Grizzly, she went over the handlebars on an ATV on the trail ride. And I said, I want her to have a roll bar, a seat belt, both of us are protected. I want it 50 inches wide, that was critical, and uh, I want her sitting next to me. And I really had a desire to show her the 50 inch uh, Allegheny National Forest Trail, specifically Rocky Gap. And uh, she doesn't ride with me a lot. She went out for the first time with me on a trail last year. She's been out twice this year, and I hope to get her out for a third time at Rocky Gap Trail in this machine. So that is why uh, that was my yearning to get out of my Outlanders ATVs, no more ATVs in this garage, and I had them for many, many years, so no more ATVs. And uh, I purchased a, uh, a Razor Trail. And I'll discuss a little bit why I purchased the Razor Trail as opposed to a Maverick trail or a Pioneer or a Honda trail unit. There are so, competition is good, right? So competition is good and we can split hairs over who makes the best side by side. I believe in a trail side by side, specifically to ride off road, I believe Polaris was the first with a Razor 800. About the same time I was bought my first ATV, around 2000, and I might not be accurate with those dates. Players was the first was a trail side-by-side, -side, and I believe their first Razor 800 was 50 inches wide or close to it. Since then, Maverick Can-Am has come out with a Razor Trail unit, which is excellent. It has it has uh, the Rotax engine in it. I think you can get it in an 800 and a 1000, 50 inches wide. Excellent machine. The reason 
I lean towards Polaris in the Razor Trail was my Razor Pro XP. The quality and the changes that Polaris made in that Razor Pro XP to improve it really impressed me. They made a conscious effort to raise the bar, raise the bar in the ATV and the side-by-side -side world and come out with a quality machine that's easier to maintain and, and that machine does it. And it's just outstanding. I'm very pleased with it. The second thing that pushed me towards the Razor Trail was, big thing, was the Ride Command. This is a navigation system that Polaris has. It's a, a touch screen. It has instrument clusters, navigation system. You can track your rides and you can also upload your rides to the cloud. You can download them to your phone. Your buddies send them to a buddy. That send them to a buddy. They can have the ride, uh, the ride that you did in theirs. It tracks the, the specifications of the ride, the, the stats of the ride. Just excellent. And a feature, two features I never thought would be big. Probably the first one, I thought I'd never have any interest listening to music in a side-by-side uh, -side on the trail. And actually, my wife, we listened to Dean Martin for about 30 miles on the Susquehanna Trail and just loved that through the Ride Command stereo system. Fosgate, I think, is the stereo system. A very handy feature on the trail is the cameras, both a reverse camera and a forward-looking camera. So many on the times on the trail, you don't quite make a turn, you gotta reverse. Usually there's someone behind me, so I can see the distance between myself and that person and back up safely. When you're cresting a hill, when you're cresting a hill on, on a very hilly trail, especially in the Razor Pro, where you're sitting a little bit lower, that camera allows you to look, uh, see what you can't see because the, the, the dashboard and the hood are blocking your view. You can see a potential rider that stopped or down in front of you. So cresting a hill, the front camera is very good. Also, tight fits around trees. So I really wanted to, to go, there was enough reasons to go with Polaris. Uh, the first in the industry, they've been doing it the longest, and the Ride Command system, just outstanding. So in summary, you're gonna be seeing a Razor Trail Ultimate on the channel now. I've had it out twice on the trail. It has exceeded my expectation, and you'll hear me comment about it. You know I'm not shy with my mouth on the trail. So uh, you'll be hearing more and more about the Razor Trail uh, on the channel, and I think you're gonna like it. I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed. Thank you. Marauder, thank you at last. Marauders, Thank you for coming back to the channel. I'm trying to improve the video quality. My editing program is without a doubt helped me to do that. Thank you for your patience. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing to my channel. That's very important to me and others on YouTube, liking it and sharing the video with a friend. Um, please, if you ride motorsports, wear a helmet for your protection and to set an example for others. And uh, I hope to see you on the trail. Thank you for joining me for this video.